What are portmanteaus and how do they work? Stay tuned and find out. Hello my friends and welcome back to Wizarding Wiz. Today, in keeping with the spirit of wanting to bring you as much gameplay information as I possibly can with as little spoilers as possible, we are going to cover portmentos. Portmentos are items that are going to be similar to eggs in Pokemon Go, but not really. What I mean by this is that portmentos are a walkable item that vary in distance, 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers, and 10 kilometers, similar to the way eggs do in Pokemon Go. However, instead of hatching a Pokemon, you will get a port key from it. Now, just like with eggs, where the rarity of the Pokemon tend to vary between the levels of distance that you have to walk, portmentos will work in a similar way, with the 2 kilometer being a prized port key portmento, the 5 kilometer being a precious port key portmento and the 10 kilometer being a paramount port key portmento. In order to unlock the portmentos, you are going to need to walk these distances as I've stated, but you will also need an item known as a key. Now there will be a golden key, which is similar to your infinite incubator. You will always have it. It has unlimited use. And then there are silver keys, which you will have to buy or gain through leveling up. And obviously you level up through gaining XP. If you need a refresher on how to gain XP, check the card up here. Just real quick as a refresher for those who may not know or remember what a port key is and what a port key does. In the magical world, a port key can be a simple item like a manky old boot, as we see in Goblet of Fire, a tin can, a tea kettle, a basketball, a deflated ball, whatever the case may be, something that a muggle will just overlook and think is rubbish. They work by when a wizard or a witch or a group of such touch the port key, they are transported from their location to another location. In Wizards Unite, when you use a port key, you will be transferred into a fully immersive 360 AR type world, typically in somewhere special to the magical world. Now, I don't know all of them, but the original article that came out telling us the things that there will be in Wizards Unite does mention Ollivander's wand shop. So I don't feel like I'm spoiling it by giving you that because I went over that in one of my earlier videos. And I know that there are other locations as well. Some have been rumored, some have been confirmed, but I don't want to spoil anything for you, and I myself have been trying to stay as far away from spoilers as possible. So, that being said, once you are inside the port key encounter, you will be able to find five waxperts. By tapping on a waxpert, you will be given ministry rewards, such as wizarding XP, registering family XP, or potions ingredients. You will also get fragments of foundables to complete your registry. And something cool here, if you find and tap on the same Waxpert twice, you get an extra bonus. Now it's not said what that bonus is, whether it's XP or something extra rare for a fragment, but you get an extra bonus if you find the same one twice. Once you have tapped on and collected all of the stuff from the Waxperts, you can then safely leave the port key experience. Now, if you leave too early and you exit the port key before finding all of the wax birds, you will not be able to re-enter the port key encounter. So make sure you find everything you need to find before exiting your port key. Now a little bit of advice that I would tend to give you and also the article that I found this information in does give would be to treat your keys and your portmentos the same as you would your eggs in Pokemon Go, meaning Use your infinite key, your golden key, for your lower tiered portmentos, your two kilometer portmentos, and save your silver keys, which you can only get through leveling up or purchasing in store, for the higher level portmentos like your 5Ks and your 10Ks. This way you can cycle through your lower level ones fast because you can only keep an inventory of eight portmentos at a time. Now you can stack port keys, you don't have to use them right away, but again, this is going to take up space in your actual inventory. So, if you were to say, save up five different portmentos, 
use Barufio's Brain Elixir, which if you remember from my potions video and my XP video, both of which you can click the cards up here in the corner to get more information on if you don't remember or you haven't seen. Barufio's Brain Elixir gives you an XP boost for about 30 minutes, similar to a lucky egg in Pokemon Go. If you use this and then in succession go through your stacked up port keys that you have, I think you can get through about four or five in the time that the Barufio's Brain Elixir is working for you. You can easily stack that XP and level up and get yourself more keys and unlock more portmentos and do it again. And the great thing about the potions, as you know, is that we can brew them, including Barufio's Brain Elixir. If you need a refresher on that, you can click this card up here where I cover all of the potions. So, something else where portmentos differ from eggs is that instead of having to go to an inn or a greenhouse or a fortress to get your portmentos, like in Pokemon Go where you have to go to the Pokestops to spin them to get an egg, you will be able to find portmentos on the world map. The downside is, is that you cannot tell the difference between the portmentos while they are on the map. It's not until after you pick them up that you will know whether it's a 2k, a 5k, or a 10k. And similar to eggs in Pokemon Go, you cannot throw them away once you have them, which is why it's important to use your golden infinite key to cycle through the lower tiered ones so you can get them out of the way and get the higher tiered stuff, where you obviously will get better rewards, better XP, and the whole nine. Maybe even more extravagant locations other than Ollivander's wand shop. And so guys, that's it for Portmentos. I hope you found this information useful. I will leave a link down in the description to the page where I got the article with all the information in it if you want to go over it yourself. I hope I was able to explain okay for you and that you found it informative. If you did, please leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button if you have not already, and share it with your friends. Get this information out there because the game is coming. When? I don't know, but the game is coming. Make sure you check back here on Monday. I will be doing uploads Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for right now. It's kind of the way my schedule works. That may change in the future, but for right now, it's working out pretty well. So we're going to keep rolling with Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you check back on Monday for another video. I will most likely be doing something else related to the game because I have reserved Wednesdays for Wandlore until we are finished with that. Until then, guys, stay safe and watch out for Dementors.